Hi, hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Once again, Code with Dorans. In this video, we're gonna learn about how to download and upload the file with base64 string in a JavaScript. This is a very uh, easy and basic concept. When you go with the real time Bay applications, uh, you would use this more. Now, let's get started. First, the process of uploading and downloading file in JavaScript. First, we will have a file. We will fetch the file from the input file dialog and convert to into base64 string and store it in a somewhere else. You can store it in a database, you can store it in a file format, you can store it as you wish, but it is a JavaScript and uh, for a video basis, I just gonna store it in a uh, UI elements value or a variable. Then we have to convert it from base64 string, we can download it. So Let's say it in a real time application. As you can see, I have a couple of files here, index.html and index.js. Uh, and uh, on the right hand side, you can see the output of the file. I have already implemented a J JavaScript series here, and I have referred the index.js file in the HTML file. So let's get started. And in order to get the data, from the input file dialog. First, we should implement the file input file dialog. For that, I am creating a couple of input file dialogs here. The one, at, the one is the ID select file. This is our input file dialog. The another one is the I text attachment. This should be an hidden input type because here where we uh, we're gonna save our base64 string. So save it and refresh it. Here we have our file uh, input file dialog. Then in a JavaScript, when the page is load, now as I told you, now when the file has been selected, at the moment the input file dialog UI element has changed, we should grab the file from uh, the file object from uh, the input file dialog, file dialog and we should read it then we can convert into base64 then when the id select file which is in here the id of the input file dialog changes we should get the file then read the file as URL. When the reader started to read the file, we can grab the result. Grail can grab the result and process some more uh, text uh, optimizations in order to get a base64 string. Here we have our base64 string for a better understanding. I just want to console log it, then storing it in our hidden input, hidden uh, element, text attachment. So I'm saving it, refreshing it. I'm choosing a file, which is new document, opening it up. Here is our base64 string. I just already saved it in text attachment input element. When you give it, here you can see the base64. Now this will act as my storing uh, storage point. So let us implement the download process. So in an index.html, I just want to implement the download button. Here, when you click, we should call the download file uh, function. The ID should be button download. In JS, here we have the function called download file. Inside the download file, I just want to call the another function. Before that, we should implement the function called download PDF. In download PDF, takes a couple of parameters. One is data, which is in a base64 string. 
the another one is a file name each and every time we can uh, download the file with our design name so I just specify this as a parameter what I'm gonna really do is I gonna uh, download the data from the PDF file format and create a custom ant tag then click it so I'm creating the link source which takes the file format of PDF and base64 the data which comes from the text attachment value then creating an UI element which is anchor tag and the file name file name and goes with an extension then I'm uh, relating to the link source which takes this base64 string then we can download the file name which takes a file name and the extension then finally we are clicking it for a better understanding I'm just copy calling the function inside the download file it takes a couple of uh, parameters first one is data we have already stored this data in the base64 string then next one is file name I just want to give file name as test saving it going ahead and refreshing it here we have our download button so when I'm choosing a file called new doc open it here is our base64 string and I'm pressing the download button here we go our file got downloaded as test PDF when I'm opening it As you can see, our PDF file got update, uploaded and downloaded. You can use this base64 string and take it to server side programming language in order to convert it as a file. We can store it in a separate folder, then store the file path into the database. Later on, you can use it, or else you can save this base, you can store this base64 string itself, then you can grab it, come here by using JavaScript, you can download it wherever you want. So that's all about this video guys. I hope you learned and enjoy it. If you like it, press like button. Uh, then comment me if you have any questions and share the video as much as you can. Don't forget to press subscribe button and click the bell icon to get latest my video updates. Thank you. I'll meet you in the next fantastic concept.